It is a Wednesday, so that means it's time for overrated or underrated here on Canuck Central. We have uh, producers Josh and Elon with us today. Josh, let's start hearing some of these overrated or underrated topics. All right, we will start with this one from Ernest. The ability to squeeze other GMs in trade talks while being over the salary cap. Overrated or underrated? Uh, uh, I would say that's underrated if you are uh, (laughs) able to do it. Well, I I think the notion is overrated because I don't think it's very possible. But uh, if you are able to do it, I mean, you're you're talking about massively underrated skills. Um, Well, what... (laughs) We asked Patrick Alvin this question, and wasn't his answer like, uh, if they'll squeeze me, I'll squeeze them. Yeah, <laughs> I'll squeeze them right back. It's like, I got it. It's like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's like, what, what, what are people going to say? You're like, we're trying to squeeze you. Oh, we're trying to squeeze you. It's like, okay, we'll talk to you later then. Like, it doesn't seem like the Canucks are doing much uh, squeezing when it comes to trade talks right now uh actually there was a recent uh, update from pierre lebrun on brock besser uh the uh the no update update Uh, (laughs) essentially nobody's calling on brock besser and uh, his rescinded trade request means uh he is very unlikely to be traded uh even if there was a trade request i'm not sure how much more likely he would be to be traded uh considering they didn't trade him when the request was in so you know it's uh It's a complicated situation for Brock Besser. It's not a non-zero chance that he gets traded, but it's uh, like it's looking more slim than not that Besser is the one to go for the Vancouver Canucks. This one from somebody, Lionel Messi, overrated or underrated? (laughs) Ooh, I mean, right now, um, I'd say his game is probably overrated, like talking about this type of player he is. Like he's probably not the player he once was, obviously. Even at the World Cup, he was really good, but it was clear – like he wasn't the fulcrum for that organ for that team for for that nation to win. Like he was a big part of it, but he wasn't the reason. Like even though he scored a lot of big goals, so I think his him as a player might be overrated. But him choosing to come to MLS despite the fact that a billion dollars was dangled to him by Saudi, I think is is very underrated for the MLS. But I do wonder how much is Apple TV paying Messi to bypass all that Saudi money to come to MLS? Okay, so. <sighs> Apparently, um, all MLS teams are contributing to Lionel Messi coming to Major League Soccer. But he can't uh, so, play in every single city, though, right? No, so, he's not. So White Cavs gonna... are paying for him. So White Cavs <laughs> are paying for Lionel Messi, and we can't even watch him play in the, at BC. Yeah, Plus. but you know, White Caps ownership are just happy that the uh, franchise owner, uh, the franchise fees are going up and up yeah. and up around Major League Soccer. You know, the, the belief is that there is he's getting some form of a percentage of all Apple TV subscriptions. Uh, for MLS to watch Lionel Messi play in the league. Obviously, he's going to get a percentage of all of the jersey sales that come from, uh, you know, his being on Inter Miami. And so it's a very uh, incentive laden deal. He's not getting paid a billion dollars like he would have been if he went to Saudi Arabia, but he's still going to be handsomely paid. And look, there is no world ever, ever where I will say, Lionel Messi is overrated because he's the greatest soccer player of all time. So you can't be overrated if you are the greatest soccer player of all time. If you are the greatest footballer of all, like if you're Wayne Gretzky, you cannot be overrated. You're Wayne freaking Gretzky. So Lionel Messi, not overrated, still underrated because he's going to dummy people. He's going to get to MLS. He's not going to play a lick of defense. He's going to be walking around the field for like, 80 minutes of the 90 and still find a way to score a goal and grab an assist. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll do that. I mean, it's kind of like Wayne Gretzky <laughs> with the Rangers. What was Wayne Gretzky great with? He was good, like really good point per game player, but he wasn't. He had like Wayne 70 Gretzky. assists in his last year. No, I know. I know, but he, it, I mean, you went from a guy to score 200 points a year to being a point <laughs> per game guy. Like it kind of dipped a little bit. <laughs> uh, this one from. He was, he was like uh, Gretzky. Final year Gretzky was like uh, Henrik Sedin. Yeah. Final year. Like, didn't much. shoot the puck, just passed it to everybody. <laughs> Still somehow ended up with a bunch of points. Uh, Max, Lionel Messi playing at BC Place one day. Overrated or underrated? Uh, underrated um, if it would actually happen. Yeah, that's the one big question mark. Is it actually going to happen? Like, if he plays on the turf in Seattle, and he's got to play on the turf in uh, in Vancouver, doesn't he? I mean, now, question, more people are question, in Seattle. Yeah, that's true. Question would be, would you open up the upper bowl 
if Lionel Messi comes to BC Place. You have to. Even... I mean, they would have to stay with sell out, wouldn't they? You'd sell 50,000 tickets if Messi showed up, wouldn't you? At least 40,000? I, I think you would. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's Lionel probably... Messi, man. Uh, 100% I'd be there. Uh, and I haven't been to a Whitecaps game in a long time. But um, look, the, the thing about Messi, too, here is. Um, and I know people are trying to like poo poo this and it's, mm -hmm. it's not going to do anything for MLS and he's not as good as he once was and all of this stuff. Like he's not going to automatically mean that inter Miami wins a title. And I agree with all of those sentiments, but you know how many more eyeballs are going to be on major league soccer just simply because Lionel Messi is playing here. Like, you know, how many it's more huge. worldwide subscriptions, Apple TV is going to sell because um Lionel Messi is in the league you know it's it's a massive massive thing for major league soccer to have Lionel Messi on their rosters or one of their rosters it's huge it is huge I mean especially with like I do kind of I had a, a moment wondering existentially what the Saudi pro league is going to do to MLS in general like if they're going to be able to draw yeah. all these guys in their latter years what MLS did like, how long does it does that take before MLS goes down a peg? And how's that? What is that going to do to the contract valuations? I don't think it's it's an exaggeration saying that Messi coming to MLS saves their standing for at least a few years. All right, the next one from Nolan: Miami as a sports town, overrated or underrated? <laughs> um, well, Miami is the place to be right now, right? You've got the yeah. NBA Finals. Uh, you've kind of got the Stanley Cup final there. Because isn't like Sunrise like 40 minutes out of Miami? It is a bit farther out. But it is a, it is a fickle sports town. It's a lot like Vancouver in that sense. Like the team struggles, they're not going to show up. Like the only team that people show up to all the time is the Dolphins, right? Yeah. The Miami Heat too, they, because they've been very competitive. But they went through some spells where it was like, yeah, whatever. We know about Florida. The Marlins have had issues forever. You know that. Like, you know, the new stadium is a bit better now. But they had issues for a long time. So I think it's a fickle sports market, but when teams are good, it's as good as any. The team's got to be good because, yeah. and I mean, look, that that is an evergreen statement for almost any sports market, but it's Miami. You know, you've got the beach, you've got nightlife, you've got a lot of things to compete with if you are a professional sports team, and... So I get it when things aren't selling out. I get it when you're in the middle of summer and it's uh, 120 degrees out, why you wouldn't want to sit outside in the sun and watch a baseball game. That means absolutely nothing because the team is out of it in May. You know, like I, I totally understand all of those things, even though I'm not a Miami person myself. It's uh, I, I get it. It's Miami. But right now it's the place to be NBA final Stanley Cup final. And you just signed Lionel freaking Messi. So pretty good. 